Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am going to share one of the most powerful screen recorder which also comes with inbuilt video editor. This application is demo creator. Using this software you can record your presentations, training courses, video tutorials and even games with high quality screen recording. It is available for both Windows and Mac. The download link is available in the video description. Install and open the software. Using this application we can easily record, edit and save videos. Here you will see three options. Get started, quick capture and video editor. Click the get started icon to set up your preference settings. In this setup window, you can customize your recording settings. For example, you can choose whether to record your full screen, a customized region of your screen or a specific target window. And you can also change frame rates up to 120 frame per second. More the frame rates, more will be the video size. Also it has option to record the games where you can choose game and decide its frame rates. Using audio settings, you can set up microphone to add voiceovers into your recordings. You can choose whether or not to record audio from both your computer and microphone. Both will be recorded by default, but you can change that by selecting don't capture next to either. Under advanced section, we have options to choose save location and other GPU settings. We can also change video encoding settings and set up custom hotkeys for screen recorder. All these will be one time settings we need to do. Once you are finished with the setup window, you can click the capture button to start recording. You can also adjust your settings in the recorder screen. Top we can see record button. Right below this is the resolution of video which is basically your computer screen size. We can also make use of white color handles to change this recording size and record specific portion of your screen. We can click on fit option to change it. Click on record button to record a video. You can press F10 key to stop recording. Here I record the few seconds of video clip. So whenever you are done, you can stop the recording by pressing F10 or here is stop button. If we stop the recording, you can see video editor will start exporting our video automatically for next editing. So this is the user interface of inbuilt video editor. Here you can edit the video. The left side window is like a project explorer which holds all the media files at one place. At the middle is obviously the preview window of our video recording and at the bottom it has controls like play, stop and fast forward. On the right side we have properties window. This shows the properties based on the element that you choose from. And at the bottom is the timeline with few important controls on the top. To import media files from the computer, right click and then select import media files or click the import icon on the media library panel or click the add files option choose the files now you can add these media files to the timeline you can sort your media by name duration date created or type you can filter your video, audio or image file easily with the filter feature. Here are two ways to add media to your timeline. Drag and drop media files from the media library to the timeline or right click a media file and select add to timeline at playhead. To trim video clips, select the clip and then cursor to the clip edge. Then drag it forward or backward to cut off the unwanted start or end. You can also split your videos into separate clips and then edit those clips separately. Place the playhead over the clip you want to split. Right click on the clip and select split. 
or click on the scissor icon on the toolbar. And to delete the clip, select the clip you want to delete from your timeline and press delete on your keyboard. You can also use the zoom slider to get a different view of your timeline. You can use voice server to record yourself talking. This is a great way to give viewers more information. Just click the voice server icon in the toolbar. You can even play your video back while you create this audio recording. Here next you can also add photo or video over the video like picture in picture mode. Import the main video to track 1 and import the second video to track 2. Adjust the size of the second video in the preview window and drag it wherever you want it. Here you can also add annotations and captions. Choose any of the categories from the list and then just drag and drop to add them into your videos. We can also blur any portion of video by dragging over any inbuilt blur samples reduce its size and place it on the video portion which needs to be blurred. These are really powerful features. In text box, you can resize it and change the text as per your requirement. It is so easy and simple to use. If you want, you can also freeze any frame to emphasize a specific image or operation. Right click on a video track and select freeze frame to create a 2 second frozen image. After you have finished editing, you can export your video as an mp4, mp3 or move file. You will be able to name your video and choose a location to store the exported file. You will also be able to adjust your video's resolution, frame rate, bit rate, and other settings in the export window. When you are done with your settings, click export. And that's it for this video. Give this video a like and share it with your friends. Comment down below if you have any questions, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.